if like in research, it's not that often that when a when a big real world problem happens that you can actually do something about it. And uh, and this is a case where we as scientists we can actually directly uh, use our skills to, to do something. I think it was after seeing some of the news coverage uh, that the virus is, is really spreading and, and also seeing that um, there really is a deficiency uh, in tests. We know what we're looking for in these viruses, uh, but we just need to uh, figure out the right combination of things to put into the reaction. And that takes a little bit of time. Hopefully this will really help people. All right. <clears throat> there are two lines uh, that will show up if the sample is positive for the virus. And then if the virus is not there, you'll just see one line. Once we dip it in, the paper will, uh, will soak up this reaction. If you see a problem out there, and then um, there aren't readily available solutions, um, but what you know and what you have done uh, can potentially help, then I think it's important to try. <laughs>